Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Saturday Morning Cartooning. You all have been doing an outstanding job on your art. Let's take a look. Great job guys. Today we're doing a character way back from the 1960s, Rocky and Bullwinkle. One of the most beloved television cartoon shows of the 1960s was The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. What set this show apart from other TV cartoon shows was that the humor involved could be enjoyed by adults as well as their children. The comedy base of this show was satire. This type of comedy was sarcastic and usually poked fun at the world, the government, or pop culture, but always in a fun, non-offensive way. The character of Bullwinkle was created by artist Alex Anderson and animation producer Jay Ward. Bullwinkle Jay Moose was a tall, dim-witted, anthropomorphic moose, meaning he walks on two legs like a human, and his best friend Rocky Squirrel was a gray flying squirrel with aviation goggles and usually portrayed as a smart and friendly straight man to Bullwinkle's bumbling doofus character. The two friends usually get into some kind of trouble involving two spies from the fictional country of Pottsylvania, Boris and Natasha. These stories mirrored the real-life Cold War tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union in the 1950s and 60s. Other friends on the show were Dudley Do-Right, Fractured Fairy Tales, and my favorite, the time-traveling Mr. Peabody and Sherman. The art style and character design was very simple, and the animation in the finished cartoons was choppy, which was perfect for TV animation that needed to be inexpensive. In fact, the cheap look of the animation sometimes added to the humor. Today, these shows are remembered fondly as part of 1960s Americana. Okay, let's get started. For the first time ever, we're gonna be doing two characters at once. We're gonna be doing uh, Bullwinkle as well as Rocky. This is a really good example of keeping our proportions in line because we have a very tall character standing right next to a very short character. The good thing about it is that Bullwinkle and Rocky and everyone involved in that show were pretty simply designed. So this is probably going to be one of our easier things to draw. So um, make sure you have your pencil, you got your eraser, you have your permanent marker when you need them, and of course, paper. Let's get started. Basic shapes first. Let's do Bullwinkle first, and we're going to have to t start his head up here. And if we look at our reference photo, this will be his head. We're also gonna do a second circle for his muzzle because it is actually bigger than his actual head. So let's put another circle right here to the left of the head circle. All right, and we're gonna connect it. Connect it with sort of like a piece of string going right across that circle to the other circle. Going around, this is going to create his muzzle coming back up into his smile that is going to just come up that way a little bit. We're going to make a little line right here for his lip, which is going to go back into the head over here. But we're not attaching it to that circle, we're actually going to be extending that circle down this way back of his head and then into his neck all right and that's what we have to do for his head right now we'll come back to it but I want to get the rest of the body shape in there so that we can begin to draw Rocky down here so we're gonna put in his body shape and his body shape is sort of like a pickle a pickle shape so we're going to do a long oval that's sort of curved sort of like this all right, and we're just gonna put in lines for where his arms are going to be. Now, we'll go back in and we will do, we will thicken out those lines and actually make them look like arms. And this is where his hand will be eventually. Uh, we can just do a little squiggle on hand right there. We'll go back to it. All right, the other arm is gonna go out this way and then it's gonna go back in and that's going to be his other hand. We'll make that look more like a hand later on. All right, his legs are gonna come down this way. Just put two sticks right now. And his feet are gonna come out this way. All right, then let's just save a little bit of space for his antlers. Um, his antlers 
are not like real moose antlers. They're more stylized. Um, all it is is three, like three hills getting bigger as it goes across. So one small hill, then a medium sized hill, then a large hill. And then it goes down and then back connecting to that original line right there. Okay. And then the other side is going to be the same thing, but we're not going to see a lot of it because his uh, muzzle is in the way. So we're only going to see maybe like one hill, two hill. Let's make that a little bit smaller. One hill, two hill, three hill, and then the rest of it's going to be behind his, um, his muzzle. You know, I might have gone a bit too far. Let's make that a little closer in. Maybe it's just like that. Yeah, that's better. All right, and then let's put in his nostrils before we start drawing Rocky. All right, let's draw Rocky. Rocky's gonna be down here. His head is going to be, uh, the top of his head should reach the bottom of Bullwinkle's torso. So it's only gonna be around here. Let's just start it off with a, a loose circle and then an oval, which is gonna be sort of like his cheeks, his little squirrel cheeks. He's got a bit of a lip right there. We're just putting in those basic shapes first. So his body, his torso, is a lot shorter and squatter than Bullwinkle's. It's only gonna be like a little jelly bean shape, okay? One arm is gonna be here. The other arm is gonna go out this way. The hand, don't worry about it being exact right now. One foot is actually gonna cut off part of Bullwinkle's toes right over here. The other one is going to go out this way. And then the biggest thing, actually, no, let's put in his, his goggles first because he wears aviator goggles. A little strap hanging down. A little strap on this side. We'll be more detailed with that later on. But the biggest thing and what gives him the most of his height is his tail. His tail is gonna go behind him and then up and back. So a lot of it is gonna be right around here. And you can be exaggerated with it because that is the biggest part of his body is his big tail, all right? So we have our basic shapes. All right, we're gonna go in and put in some more uh, information in these characters in a minute. We're gonna do one at a time. Let's start with Bullwinkle first, all right? So we have his original circle, which is right here. It's gonna be where his vertical face line is. This will help us understand where his one eye is going to be so we can sketch in one oval shape for the eye and then we want to extend his muzzle right to that eye line. All right. The other eye is going to be on the other side of the muzzle, so we can just sketch that in right there. Part of it's going to be cut off by that muzzle. Then go ahead and put in your pupils. And we're going to give him some eyebrows. So from the top of the eye, you're going to just go around here Sort of like putting a little fold of skin up there. We're going to do the other side as well. And his head. This, his, the back of his head goes behind his antlers. All right, so we're going to skip that line, go a little bit down. We have to add a little bit of an ear. Bullwinkle's ears sort of look like a little teardrop coming off the back. All right, and then this is the bottom of his head right there. We don't see the other ear. It's behind the muzzle and this side of the head. All right. Let's do the mouth. Here's his muzzle. Open mouth going down into that bottom lip that we already drew in. And then back up into the muzzle. Add little suggestion of a tongue right there. And then his lower lip going into his neck. All right, we, this is already looking great. So 
let's um, work on the rest of his body. Let's start with his shoulder, which is gonna go right here. It's gonna go down this arm. And now we can thicken the arm right here. But before we finish the arm, let's just put a little bit of this side of his body. I wanna get this glove exactly right. If we take a look at the reference photo, um, like most classic cartoon characters, Bullwinkle is wearing white gloves. He's all, he also has three fingers and a thumb. Uh, in fact, we don't even see the thumb on this hand. It's behind the hand. So we're going to, right where we put that little shape for his glove, let's do one finger pointing outwards, coming back in. Another finger going slightly down and coming back up. Another finger that's even more bent and going straight down. And going up into a palm and into the rest of the glove. Then we could put a little fold of fabric and where his glove ends. All right, and we'll clean up those lines once we start inking. All right, we could also put that little line of his arm going in. Let's move this line in a little bit. There we go. And thicken this. Yeah. Good. All right, let's do the other arm. One shoulder going down. That's the uh, end of his glove. Makes two diagonal lines going in. Let's do one thumb going up and then bending back a little bit, really emphasizing that it's his thumb. And then three fingers. One, two, three. Back into the glove, fold of the fabric. A little fold right there as well. And again, I'll put in the little uh, palm line. We will clean up those lines once we start inking. Oh, let's thicken the arm line. Remember, it's okay to be light and sketchy with the lines now. You want to be smooth with the inking lines, but when you're using your pencil, just use a light touch and you can sketch your lines in. If it doesn't work, go back, erase it, try again. Now this is very interesting about Bullwinkle, and I don't know why this is true. It's actually Bullwinkle and Rocky. Uh, you don't see the connection points where their arms connect to their torsos. They, uh, the torso just ends right at the bottom of the torso and it's inked all the way around. And then the legs just stick somewhere. So we don't have to worry about making sure those legs look like they are actual parts of the body. Let's... Um, and another thing that's easy about Bullwinkle is that his legs are, um, he's usually standing with them pressed together. They're fused together uh, when he's standing still. So all we have to do is two thick lines there and then just put a line going right down. This will create two legs, all right? He does have knees though. So we can put in these uh, sort of like, like a big open letter C and do the opposite, like a reverse C on this side. And those are his knees, all right? And he only has two toes. So all you have to do is swoop down, make one toe, and the second toe. And that's one foot, all right? Then we can do the other leg, but I'm not going to finish it because before I do that, I want to finish up Rocky on this side. Because remember, part of Bullwinkle's shoe um, foot is going to be cut off by Rocky himself, as we can see in our reference photo. So let's do Rocky before we finish up Bullwinkle's foot. So this line right here connected the the uh, the curvy oval, the squirrel cheeks connected to the actual circle of the head will tell us where to put his eyes. So we're gonna put one eye shape here. And then the other eye shape right next to it, right here. Okay, he's got big pupils. 
with that gleam in there so we can put little circles inside those pupils. Um, let's shade in the pupils, leaving the gleam mark unshaded so that we know where to ink later on. I'm gonna do the same thing on his nose and he's got that uh, traditional animal nose shape, sort of like an upside down triangle. A little bit of a gleam in there. Go ahead and shade around the gleam. And he has a broad smile going right across his cheeks. And then he's got buck teeth going into those lips that we, the bottom lip that we already drew. And his uh, mouth line or his nose line, the vertical nose line connects to the vertical line of his teeth right there. All right, let's put in we already got the top of his head here, which on this side will become his aviator goggles. And he's got, these are like the eye holes of the aviator goggles, the goggle part. It sort of looks like a, like a hockey puck on one side. And then that goes straight down. And let's just clean up that line just a little bit. And that's the other side of the hockey puck. The other hockey puck of the other side the goggles. All right, so that's his head. And that connects all the way across. Let's do one arm. It comes in towards his body with a hand, sort of like he's bowing. If we take a look at the reference photo. It's like Rocky is bowing to the audience. And that's what gonna draw today. So there's one finger, two finger, three finger. Classic cartoon character design of those three fingers instead of four fingers and a thumb. It was done that way to make animation easier. And don't forget, Bullwinkle and Rocky show was done for television. It had to be done quickly and it had to be done cheaply. And that's one of the reasons why uh, a lot of cartoon characters, especially television cartoon characters, have the three fingers and a thumb. So that's one arm. This one's gonna go out this way. One, two, palm finger. And that goes right into the body. Again, the body, we don't see where the legs connect so we can ink or we can um, sketch all the way across. We will eventually ink all the way across. And now we can do this foot so that it cuts off part of Bullwinkle's foot. So this one goes down this way. His feet are very similar to Bullwinkle's feet in that it has, they have two toes. So that's one leg. The other leg is gonna go out this way. darken in that tail line. And before we start inking, I, I want to just add on for Bullwinkle, he has a couple of hairs on the top of his head. So all we have to do is one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll ink those in. Also, he's got these texture lines on him as if he's hairy or furry. And I've got a couple of them coming off um, the edge. So we got our pencil lines done. Let's start inking. Get your permanent markers. Remember, think before you ink. There's certain lines we're not keeping, certain um, face lines mostly, and lines of shapes that we uh, are not gonna use completely. So ink along with me. So that's the one eye. And then before we do the other eye, because remember, part of it's gonna be cut off, we're going to do his muzzle first. 
Remember, try to keep your lines smooth when you're inking, different from when you're uh, sketching with pencil first. It'll give it a more finished and polished look. His nostrils. Just ink the second line right on the left side of each one of those just to give it a, a uh, illusion of depth. We do the same thing here and you can ink in his mouth. Ink in the lower lip line that goes right into his neck. All right, let's do his eyebrow. One here and one here. That part of the head. Stop before you get to this part of the head because we want to do his antler. Little hill, medium hill, large hill, swooping back down. We'll connect to that side. All right, now we can do his ear and that little part of his head right there and the bottom part of his head right there. Before we go any further, do this side of his antler. And while we're at it, let's put on his, the hairs on the top of his head. His neck going down, one shoulder into one arm. one side of the body stop before you do the other side of the body because we want to ink in that glove but before I do that let's do this part of the arm one finger two finger three finger and now you can do this part of the body This arm here. Get those knees in there before you do the entire length of the leg. You do the middle line. And remember, before I ink the rest of his feet, I wanna finish up Rocky. So let's move on to Rocky. So let's do his squirrel cheeks first before we do anything else, because that's the first thing that pops out of the viewer. Squirrel cheek, bottom lip, bottom of squirrel cheek, his eye, the big pupil, draw that little circle in there for the gleam, and then ink everything around it. This part of his head that connects to his aviary goggles. Get that little hockey puck shaped goggle section right there. And that's the other little part of it dangling down that way. His nose, that upside down triangle. Get that gleam in there. Ink everything around it. A smile. We can ink that line from his nose straight down his teeth and then ink around that as well. Okay. Let's do this arm. Get 
Let me put a little line right there, just sort of saying that it's connected to the body. Uh, this arm going out this way. One finger, two finger, palm, and three finger. Bullwinkle's foot. You add that little line of where his toe is. Uh, this foot. And last thing for Rocky. This is tail. All right. Oh, before we move on, also let's put in his. Bullwinkle's um, texture lines. All right, now, as we all know in this class, before it's done, we have to erase our original pencil lines. Take a couple of minutes and do that. Okay, we can leave it like this, or we could add a little bit of color. Okay, I think we're gonna use some colored pencils. Ooh, actually, before we do that, there's one little line I need to do. That always happens when I erase. He has a little line underneath that part of his eye. All right. So today we'll use colored pencils, and uh, the first thing we'll do is Bullwinkle's antler. So let's use some yellow. And their character designs are simple, as well as their character colors, because Bullwinkle is all one color, he's brown. So go ahead and do the brown parts, which is everything but the antlers. And the gloves. Gloves stay white. Another interesting thing about Bullwinkle is that the inside of his nostrils are not any different color. They're just the same color as his skin. Okay, last thing for Bullwinkle, just a little bit of color for his tongue, pink. For Rocky, he's even easier. Everything but his his aviator goggles are gray. So we can, he's a gray squirrel, so everything is gray. His aviator goggles are usually blue. So let's do the gray first. Aviator goggles. And there we have it Rocky and Bullwinkle. 